Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out a Patreon request from this Patrono right here. Ask us to check out some original material from Saltatio Mortis with... Hey. Yeah, I figure it's time for us to move on from that joke. I mean, from once Santino it's fine... Mala? Yeah, once it's fine, twice it's kind of like... starting to get a little bit stale. Yeah. You know, like, you go so many times to that well, eventually you run out of water. I don't think that's a saying, but I'm, I'm kind of going with it. Anyways, the name of the song is Waxstrom Uber Alice. I don't think it's Waxstrom. And when I think of Waxstrom, I think of Backstrom, which was a hockey player from back in the day. But anyways, uh, it's I think it's about time that we check out some of their own stuff. Yeah. Not a cover, it not, been not funny. Eskimo Callboy, whatever. Yeah, it would have been funny if we did another cover, because every single time after one of their videos, we've said we should check out one of their new stuff. Like, not new, but their original stuff. And then we just go on to do another cover. I'm a big fan of covers, nah. but I want to check out something different and from these do, guys. They do good covers. Oh, the Power Wolf one was great. Yeah, the Power Wolf one was amazing. All right, so are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Interesting twist because I I thought they were feeding him 
so that he could get big, so they could eat him. Yeah. That's kind of where I thought this was was going to go. I, not in a million years I thought that guy was going to break free and and, uh, and and eat the guy. And eat the king. And eat the king. And become the king. And at the beginning when I saw it there, I was like, is that a kid or is that one of the seven Johnstons? I wasn't really sure what was <laughs> oh happening God. there. You, no, I saw a small person in there. You, I said John, sure. you said Johnston. It took me like two seconds to realize what the fuck okay. you said. But you got there. I got there. All right. So now that I got that out of my chest, uh, one, one thing I, I want to say. This song makes me want to drive my convertible Volkswagen Beetle. You know what I mean? Driving the Autobahn, screaming Das Auto, all the way to Oktoberfest. Like, that's what this song makes me want to do. This song just makes me want to go to Oktoberfest. I mean, I don't have a Volkswagen Beetle convertible, but I would love to have one. If a, a van. Vol- a van. A van would be even that's better. That's what I'm saying. If there's a Volkswagen, yeah, it's the van. It's, it's the, the van. It's and then the we can put bus. some shack carpet on it. Exactly. Put some shack... Put one of those disco balls. Boom. The fuzzy dice. No, the fuzzy dice at the front. At the, the disco front, ball yeah, is, is like at the back. You know what I mean? No. So business you, in the front so you, party at the back. Yeah, so then you can fuck. Uh, so then you I can put some Eskimo cowboy in the back and have oh some my, fun. <laughs> I just realized that those, full circle Vol- with this. those Volkswagen minibuses are basically like the mullets of cars. They're party. They're they're, <laughs> they're the mullets of cars. They're the party. The the business in the front and party in the back. Oh God! You know how hard. I, I don't think you. I don't, I don't, first of all, I don't think they make them anymore. I but if you. Do. I think if you try to buy one, but if you want to buy like one of the, like one the of the thro- original, it's so expensive yeah, because you, you can't find somebody who's like uh, who's upgraded, who fixed it, and, and brought it back to life. We see sometimes, well, at least I do, in the uh, American pickers where they find those books. They go for a fortune. Yeah. They buy them all rusted up, and then they send it to some place to fix it all they up. They fix it up. Oh, yeah. it's a fortune. It's a fortune. But anyways, this song. I kinda... wouldn't even sell it though. I would just keep it afterwards. Yeah, but do you want to have it like all rustied up or you no, want no, to have I'm, like all fixed up? I want to fix it up okay. and then I'll keep it. Oh, you would keep it. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, this song kind of made me want of like hop on a car, drive road in the trip. Autobahn, go to, yeah, road trip to Oktoberfest. And when you get there, you, we wear our brand new leader hosen and then we just like drink beer and sing along and and, and stuff our faces this with some huge everyone, Polish sausages. This is what, uh, actually, it's this, not what, Polish, it's Bratwurst uh, I know, or whatever but, the hell but, it's called. But, uh, I, I don't know about in Germany, but here in Canada, when you go to one of those street vendors, when you want to get your hands on some street meat, I know, I know it sounds awful, but when you want to get your hands in a mouthful of street meat, normally they feed you Polish sausages. Yeah, usually it's Polish. I, I think because they're the biggest ones. I, I'm, I'm, they have some Italian ones. The Italians tend to be a little bit uh, spicy. Uh, at least that's my, my personal experience. I'm yet to find... A different kind of sausage. It's either Italian or... Po- I was going to say something that perhaps... They have, have a Portuguese one, but they don't sell it on the streets. They don't have Portuguese sausage? Yeah. Oh, not, not as part of street meats. Not street meats. Portuguese sausage is a little bit... It's high-end. It's above street meats. Yeah, it's, we're above street... We don't go down to the streets. Unless it's in Portugal, then Portuguese then, people are all over the streets. Exactly. But, you know, like, it, it's not. Here, it's either you get a Polish, Polish. sausage, which normally, like, it's a mouthful. Like, it's really, like... It, it's, it's like a... Um, what do you call it? Uh, it it's it, it's the size of the bun. Like the bun is like this big, and the sausage still has like the yeah, tips sticking out. The tips out, are, are curled are up. curled up outside of the bun. So it, it, it's like uh, uh, Peter Steele or Peter North, whatever Peter the fuck North. his name there is. is. Uh, Peter North of sausages. Peter Steele. Peter Steele. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where I went with that one, but anyways, they're they're huge. So it kind of makes me want to go to Oktoberfest in my leather hosen, you know, sing. Drink some beer. This is what everyone and stuff our faces with sausages. Yeah, this is what everyone who's not German thinks about when they think about uh, Oktoberfest. You know who went to Oktoberfest before the pandemic? Our good friend uh, Ben. Oh, yeah. Was it like that? Did you? I I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him. I I, I didn't ask for pictures. I definitely want to go to pictures. Or didn't happen, but I I I didn't ask him. I definitely want to go to Oktoberfest. Is is on your bucket list? It's on my bucket list. You have to listen to a song like this to get inspired, to get into the mood. You listen to this on the on the drive there. When you get there, you're almost 85% German. Listen to this on the way there. Driving in a Volkswagen convertible, Beetle, if preference, Beetle, right? Uh, listening to these guys, or if you go with a van, then you put Eskimo Cowboy in the back. Like yeah. we, already, we already covered that, right? By the time you get there, depending on how long the road trip is, by the time you get there, you're at least 85% German. At least 85% German. Yep. 
The, the other 15% is your lack of efficiency. Oh. That's your other 15%. You, yeah. you, you can't get there. And you can't do it. You, you, you cannot reach that, that, the uh, the, that manshaft efficiency uh, without being 100% German. Yeah. You just can't. It just, it just doesn't happen. But anyways, wh what did you think of the video and the song? The video is very interesting. The video was very interesting, but the, the song itself is ex kind of how I thought that they would sound, obviously, from the covers. I knew they were going to be... I just love that hurdy-gurdy in the bagpipes. I, I love that. Because they make such a cool... Uh, cool combined sound. Combination, yeah. I really, really like it. And I knew they were going to sound very folky, obviously, because of the, the covers. And I knew where this was going. But uh, I was really happy on how much they uh, used both the hurdy-gurdy and the um, the bagpipes in the song. I, I like the combination of the two because it's hard for me. It's almost like a, a Peter North and my porno references. You don't know where one starts and where the other one ends. Yeah, you like can't the two of them you, since they com combined. Com you, can't, you, can't, you, can, you can't break them apart. No. They create this unique sound together it's like it's it's like you're you have fuel and then you add fire to the fuel so it makes it makes the explosion even bigger it just makes this huge sound that i i can't i tried it today and every time i listen to them i always try to like okay where's where do the bagpipes start and where do they end and where's the hurdy gird but i honestly i can't break it down because no, they're, those two, they're so good together they, they are they create a very cool really, sound you can't really find where one sound. ends and more than one star. I also like two other things I really like about this track. One is I like the bite on the guitars. Yeah. Uh, th this was a little bit different. I was not expecting... It got really folky in the chorus and everything, but I think in the verses... But in the verses, the, the guitars had some... It had that bite. And the bass. And the bass, yeah. The bass was had really a very cool big as well. Role in this. The, the bass and the guitar in the verses gave the song almost more of a metal feel. And then when Which he got into... start. Yeah, and then when he got into the chorus, that's when he became a little bit more folky, a little bit more of a party vibe to it. But I like that bite that the guitars had, and I like the sound of the bass as well. Yeah, very so thick. It's, yeah, I, I, it, it, it gave some, some, oh, once again, it gave some of that Polish sausage feel to the song, I must say. Uh, what did you say that German one was? Brought, for, brought first? I don't know how to say it. Oh, okay. Is that a, is that a brand, or is it a style? I think that's just a sausage. All right. We, we need to, you, know, you know what we need? We need to have a, a, a sausage video. <laughs> We're probably gonna have one when we go to if we go to Germany. So. We'll, we'll we'll get a sausage video going one of these days, but it won't be on this channel, or at least not on YouTube. It'll be on a, some kind of different kind of tube. Mm -hmm. If you, if if you catch my the colors drift. are orange and black. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and I'm not talking about orange is the new black. Well, orange could be the new black. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, hopefully not. I'm not picking up the soap. I'll I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. Let me that's just, the one thing. That's the one thing I won't do for love. I mean, I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. And on that note, guys, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See ya. See ya.